Now the first session of the 107th Nebraska Legislature is officially in the books and tonight we break down all the biggest bills that will impact you and your family. Governor Pete Ricketts kicked off the bodies last day by praising lawmakers for providing what he said could be record tax relief for Nebraskans. Folks, that's historic. This is the most, the biggest, the great amount, greatest amount of tax relief any legislature has done in a quarter century and potentially in the history of the state of Nebraska. If you look at Rickett says 18% of the state's $9.7 billion budget will go to tax relief over the next two years, and that's about $1.7 billion. And achieving those numbers made it a busy session with many leaders saying they're happy with that they were able to achieve all of this. Now we're going to dig, dive in deep on the tax cuts, expanded broadband and gambling regulations passed by the body. 3 News 9 reporter John Kipper shows what passed during the session and what failed to get through the body. I think Nebraska passed a lot of bipartisan bills this year. Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue was overall pleased with what got done this year. She points to exempting Social Security income for seniors and exempting retirement income taxes for military veterans as big accomplishments. Speaker Mike Hilgers called it historic. It's the most consequential series of tax cuts bills that this, that this legislature has passed maybe in decades. Well, no property tax bills were passed this year, Governor Pete Ricketts says, with property tax reform bills passed in 2020, along with adding more money into the credit relief fund, property taxes should not be rising to what they have in the past. Across the two years, we'll have a record setting one, nearly $1.7 billion in property tax relief coming from the state. What didn't get done was a 3% cap in spending on local governments, such as school boards. Senator Ben Hansen of Blair voted for it this year. I thought it was a good way to kind of at least kind of put some kind of uh, kind of tighten the purse strings to make sure that we can help the property tax um, owners of Nebraska. It's something Governor Ricketts says could contribute to rising tax bills in the future. He hopes it comes back next year. That's why people are mad. So the legislature needs to act to rein in that local property tax increase because that's what's really driving this. Another bill that fell just two votes short of advancing medical marijuana. Hanson thought it was a conservative approach and worries about a ballot initiative. A little disappointed that need to get out because of my greater concern that yes, it's going to be on the ballot and now it's medical marijuana in all forms. Rickett says they can beat a ballot initiative by educating Nebraskans. I think we can make sure that they understand how we can protect our safety best. And then if there is a ballot initiative, you know, work to defeat it when it comes up. Now the unicameral was not technically done this year. They'll have a special session to redistrict congressional and legislative maps among others. It's going to be a contentious issue, I'm sure. So as long as people, the citizens of Nebraska, stay part of the process, the committee stays transparent, I have hope that unlike last time, there'll be no gerrymandering, no political shenanigans. Now, Speaker Hilgers did say today that he expects the legislature to return sometime in mid-September to tackle redistricting. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Other bills passed, including expanding broadband, putting in casino gambling regulations, and legalizing to-go alcohol permanently.